the biggest thing I remember is being so scared. A little town like this, you would think that somebody knows. She was murdered, and it didn't seem like that much was done about it. I heard, heard stories growing up, but we weren't really ever allowed to talk about her. And, and there, there's some people in the family that didn't even know that she, she was a person, that she existed. She was supposedly dropped off at the bowling alley at 6 o'clock by her dad. Now, Tim Cosby says that he's seen her at the IGA. Now, the IGA is just a block up from the bowling alley. They were walking with me to my house down on Walnut Street. We walked past the IGA, and Kathy was sitting in their car with her dad. Um, although she'd been seen afterwards, up the bowling alley. Uh, my, my, my opinion is there's some cover up within the, I don't know if it's the police department or something because um, they, they just squashed it in a matter of no time. And, and I know if that was my daughter, I'd still be with a crack and whip on their door saying, hey, let's get this solved. I felt like the school didn't really give us much to go on. Like we were just sort of like, you can go to Kathy's funeral if you want to. And so of course we did. And I remember sitting there with my, with my friend and we were hysterically crying because it was so scary and so terrible, the things that we heard. But it was very, very scary because you live in a small town and you, you just go about your business and no one, you don't have to really check in or anything. And everyone knows everybody. And then we hear that, you know, Kathy's been killed. And so that was very traumatic for me. It's sort of like I relived the whole thing. And because um, it's terrible to think that you would die in a fire, that you weren't already dead then it's also terrible to think that you were stabbed. So both of those were just as bad, but I think that the stabbing part was easier for me to take, but I thought it was odd how I did it, know like the facts of what happened. I, I remember the night, very icy night, and I lived across the street from the laundromat, and I was over there doing laundry, Wally Davis, was in there talking to Kathy that night, um, about 6.30 at night, we figure. And I noticed that she was back there, in the back in the back of the laundromat, she was crying. And it kind of struck me odd that I thought, Wally, what are you doing talking to her? He's a lot older than she was. Sometime in between, say, 7.15 or so, and then the fire happened at 7.30, that's only like a 15 minute, maybe 20 minute window. That's not very much time at all. That nobody knows really what happened. And it even states in one of the papers that her watch stopped at 7.35. When the fire happened, her watch got hot enough and it stopped working. That's the only thing I could think of. Somehow in that time frame, she got out to that house, which is about a mile and a half or so away from town. The weather wasn't that great anyway, so it would have taken a little bit of time to get out there. Whatever happened, happened really fast. I don't think it was planned. I don't think that she was tortured for hours on end. I don't think she was, she was raped. I think this was something that happened spur of the moment. I don't think it was planned at all. Burn 
down completely. Um, we went out there and basically uh, put the fire out. I got everything out, felt like we had everything secured, and we went back to the station. The next day, Kathy Tucker was found out there burnt. I'm going, well, it was night. Yes, we've got lights. You know, I mean, we checked things out. The police come and met with us up there one at a time and, and uh, asked us what we remember and showed us pictures. And to the best of my knowledge, each and every one of us said, well, where are you telling us that body was at? We didn't feel that that body was there the night of the fire. There was probably seven to eight of us firemen that made that call. So firemen that were actually there. And, you know, somebody's, I'm sorry, somebody's got to kind of notice that. Where she was supposedly found, um, no, I, there, there's no way that some, you know, we wouldn't have, would have noticed it. And of the firemen that were out there, there was five of us that's already been involved in a fire with burning flesh. And I've got to tell you, you uh, you won't get that smell out of your, you, you'll, you'll not forget it. And it stays with you for a while. I think everybody had tunnel vision that Wally did it. It was kind of like, well, Wally did it. You know, he's in jail now. The initial case, right away, started looking at Wally Davis. Supposedly that he was the last person to be with her. And that's what their whole focus was. They didn't really look at it. In fact, and in the papers, it says that as soon as Wally Davis was charged, they stopped with looking at anybody else. They didn't do any more lie detectors. They didn't. They didn't question any more people at all, to, you know, to see if, you know, maybe there's more to it or not. When he went to court, it was a mistrial. I mean, the judge right away didn't see anything to connect him. L looking back at it now, it's kind of like, I wonder why there really wasn't a whole lot to do about it. Here they had tunnel vision on Wally. If Wally didn't do it, when it, maybe if somebody else did it, they should have been investigating that. After that, it was just kind of swept under the rug. Within a year, it was like it was ancient history. I mean, I, I know for a fact that, that it was Kathy Tucker in the back there talking to Wally. I know those, there's no doubt in my mind that that was those two. Um, I had people say, oh, you know, eyewitnesses, you know, but it was definitely them because it's, that stuck in my mind for sure, you know. It'd be nice to figure out who did do this. You don't know who did it? I don't care if you're a guy or a girl, you, you, it's scary. And to this day, it still affects me because um, she, was a, she was a good friend of mine. And for, I don't know if it's the town or, or lack of evidence, but it's just, it's just kind of creepy. I grew up in this town and um, I would think they would put more emphasis into solving it.